Man, what's up, man? Y'all see I'm in my robe, my dude. It ain't Versace, but it's a little robe, man. It's, it's kind of chilly out here in Houston right now, man. So, I just wanted to say what's up to everybody, bro. Um, you know, see what's going on. And just let y'all know what I've been up to. Because I, I haven't really been on social media like that. But figure, let me go ahead and just drop this video, you know. Consistency. Y'all know how y'all know how we coming in. But... Um, I want to drop this video or whatever because I want to talk about a few things that I got planned. You know, I don't really tell too much of my stuff, but it's y'all. You know, I'm going to let y'all know on some, on some things, you know. I a, a lot of things are coming to me, like, some things I would have never thought about. Like, for instance, even though I don't plan on working at my job for long, like, in all honesty, I'll be out there in no longer than, like, the next five years, four years. But, um... I started up uh, the savings for that. Oh, I actually opened up, I don't know if I told y'all about this, about the uh, Ally. I don't know if you ever heard of Ally, if y'all haven't. Go check Ally out, it's a fire, bro, it's fire. One of the highest banks that can, that do like the ice interest rate for bank accounts, saving accounts and stuff like that. I told y'all I'm trying to buy a house soon, so really I'm putting, the, I'm starting to fund that account for my emergency fund, in all honesty, but I'm gonna dump it in there, but at the same time, I'm gonna serve it as like almost like my house for me. I just opened up a new that 401k stuff, you know. I, even though I don't plan on being in my job long, I wish I would need it as soon as I got as soon as I got this job because you know some jobs I ain't gonna say all jobs, but some jobs they match whatever you put in your 401k. For instance, you know if I would have had like started like two years ago because I've worked in my job for like two years and I've gone on three years. If I would have started this much as soon as I got started. I would have been dumping in like twenty, twenty dollars a week or so. You know, whatever they double it. So if I put in twenty, if I put in a hundred, they put it in a hundred. So it'd be two hundred. If I put in twenty, they put in forty. You know, stuff like that. So if I would have been doubling, home, let me get my phone. Let's, let's do the calculations right now. It's fifty-two weeks in a year, right? So it's fifty-two. And let's say I put in a hundred dollars a week, right? So if I put in a hundred, they match. That's two hundred. So we're gonna do two hundred dollars something. That's ten k. Well, it's, it's kind of backwards for y'all, but it's 10K for what? Like 10K for just chilling and working at the job. So if I do that two years, that's 20K. You know, y'all get what I'm saying? That's like basically free money. So if I would start that a while back, I could, if I would put $100 in, for example, I would have had like 20K right now sitting in my uh, 401K, which I don't plan on. I told y'all I'm gonna be a millionaire, so I don't plan on you know, surviving off of that stuff like that. But I don't plan on working in there for that long either. But, you know, it, you can always pull your 401k out, you know, but you'll be, it'd be like a penalty or whatever. I think it's like, and it's also tax free money also. So, you know, it's just some things that I, um, I'm looking into. I'm also looking into a, a, a Roth IRA, you know, I figured that it's best for me to work on my long term wealth right now before I start working on my my current wealth. Like I told y'all, my current is my business, uh, real estate, stuff like that. But before I get to my business, then from my business to like real estate or to stocks and real estate, whichever in that order, you know, I, I feel like I should do my long-term wealth first. So I know down the line for sure I'm secured, you know? The IRA is it's, it's basically like um, you have a broker and that broker does everything for you it's like safe stocks it's not like a big you're not gonna make you're not gonna be a billionaire off the IRA but it's just something that that's just like you'll constantly make money on without even doing anything like you know I just feed my money into it and just look over which you know make sure they handling my stuff right of course but I don't have to be deep deep, deep in like if I was trading stock and stuff of that nature so I'm, I'm looking into those two things right now you know um, and I'm just continuing to better myself, of course. I talked to Donnie, and me and Donnie was talking about um, just just life, bro. We were talking about life, and we were talking about like people that, like, you know, people that you know, people our age, you know, not even just people we know, just people in the masses, the masses of our age, you know, everyone is our age. About how it's cold, my hands are freezing. That's why, that's why I'm holding my hands, it's freezing in here. But it's just like, you know, about the masses, and like, how, not a lot of people is on this wave, you know, trying to truly better themselves. 
that loss, man. Like, bro, y'all don't understand. I'ma just, I'ma just go ahead and read something that I saw that explains exactly where I'm feeling. Okay, it says, you can't save everybody, you just can't. Unfortunately, some brothers slash sisters don't want to be saved. They don't want to be pointed in the right direction. They like living on the edge and love dancing with the devils. It's interesting, man. Very, very interesting, man. You know, that's that's basically that's basically describing my whole generation. Like majority, I'm not gonna say all, but a great majority, not even just my generation, but the generation before us. But you know, I'm gonna speak on my generation right now. Majority of my generation is like um they're lost. They are lost. And it's like, bro, y'all didn't see your cousins, like your older cousins, your uncles, even or even your parents go through stuff where it's like, what are y'all doing? Like y'all don't see the mistakes that they made. Um it's one great thing in the Bible that, you know, I'm not gonna say I'm a super person that's deep, deep, deep into the Bible. Like as I y'all seen one of my goals say I wanna read the Bible more. But I'm not truly like, you know, like that much into the Bible, you know, at least not yet. But one thing that stuck with me was a wise man learns from others' mistakes while a fool learns from his own mistakes. And I live by that motto. I really I, I, I really live by that motto. That, I might get that tattooed on me somewhere or something. But I truly live by that motto. It's like... And I remember one time my parents was on me. Like my, me and my parents got into it. Like me and my parents don't get to. We have debates. Like we have debates. Like we have. We were talking. And if y'all watch one of my videos, I was talking about the uh, you know about the reading books and stuff. But they were on my head about me reading the book or whatever. And it was like it was like a book can't teach you everything. And I was like okay, but a book can teach me mistakes that a person's made and whatever fields I'm looking into or whatever I'm doing, you know? And I rather, and they was like, oh, okay, he can, they can teach you that, but uh, you're not gonna learn until you make those mistakes yourself. And I'm like, why would I make those same mistakes if I already seen someone else make those mistakes before me? And that's just one thing that I learned that I do. Like not a lot of people do. A lot of people rather make the mistakes, you know, themselves so they can learn from them, which is, you know, that's understandable, but that's something that I don't want to go through, you know? I rather, Watch you make the mistake, and then when I see you make that mistake, okay, I don't have to do that. You know, I'm, I know to try something else. Even though I, may, I might make a mistake doing this, but I know for sure not to do that. Mm. If y'all ever meet me in real life, or if you know me in real life, I conversate. Like, if I, 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 I love intellectual talk. Like, you know, my parents, we have a lot of intellectual talk. And like I just explained to you, I like talking on a deeper level. Like, I like to, I like to get people, just people's opinions. Like. I'm always talking to like people at work, you know. I'm just I like I give people opinions. Just leave it at that. So, and if you know, like I was saying, if you know me in real life, you'll know that you all. If, if I really mess with you, if I feel like I can have a good talk with you, if you ain't on that dumb stuff, or you know, like if you truly can grab my, that's what grab my attention. Like whenever it's a person talking on something, I can, you know, it's like okay, because. I like to go back and forth. Like, I like, okay, so how about you feel? I'm like a person where if you give a different opinion than what the majority think, it's a, oh, you wrong, you this. I don't like that. So, if you know me in real life and I truly mess with you, like, on that level, then you would know that I, I like to talk to you and I like to get your opinion, like, you know, your mistakes, like, you know. And the reason why I do that is because I'm learning not to make the same mistakes you made. And you know, I can also if I if I know by me talking to you, if I've done that before, then I can say I can let you know the mistakes I made of what not to do, you know, this and that. So it's just something I like to do. And so you know, a lot of people don't really think about that. It just it's okay to be different. It's okay to be outside the norm. Like me on this uh, IRA stuff, not a lot of people my age are doing that. I know they're not. It's it's starting it's starting to get to the point where people my age I'm only 22 so but it's like starting to get to like people my age they don't really they're not really partying that much it's like the partying days are starting to go away like but every everyone's starting to work now but it's not like that's the that's the whole thing they're working they're not like building their dreams or going after their dreams it's like either work or school work or school or just school 
or just work, you know? So it's like, but they're not actually following their dreams. So, it's so I just, I just want to make this video, you know, let y'all know it's okay to be different from the norm or for the masses, like, it's okay.